you know what? I don't believe it because I finally finished it. I've never thought it is so extremely difficult to be a painter, drawer, and an artist. Before we start, please do not scroll till the end to see the result. I really, really want you to watch the whole video till the end because I worked so hard for that and it was extremely um, stressful for me. So thank you in advance. Also, I'm Home Homestead and welcome to my channel. Let's start the video. Starting from the day one, you could probably think, well, she draws pretty well. Why does she do this challenge? Actually, I do not draw well. This was redrawing. And I cannot redraw good either. This picture is from the artist whose name on TikTok is Chawik. I really recommend you to go on her page and look at her style because I still want to draw like her, but I can't. And I try so hard, but I still can't. And uh, I just recommend you to go there. Chawi is not the only artist, I hope I pronounced this nickname correct, from whom I took the drawings and worked to redraw. There are many artists and the best source of inspiration is the Pinterest, of course, because I don't think the Google is the best option. And I think there are two reasons why my redrawings looked pretty well, not bad, during the first three or four days. First of all, because I redrew, and secondly, because I didn't have a lack of inspiration. During the four, first four or five days, I drew five days straight, no pauses, and I felt not bad. However, I couldn't feel myself that good during following 26 days, and as you can see, the quality of my drawings drastically dropped. Probably, I think it's because I drew the body, and it is more difficult than drawing the face, but whatever. That is the reason I started to make some research on the YouTube, some tips and advices from the artists how to develop the skills for the beginners. And uh, I eventually found one artist who said that the most stupid advice other artists can give to the beginners is just to draw every day non-stop. And I also think that is stupid, because beginners don't know what to do. And as a beginner, I can say that first of all, it just because of the lack of inspiration, they draw every day and they do not have any results. So they quit drawing. And secondly, because they do not have any program to follow. Under the program, I mean some basic steps, which you will follow, and that will eventually build in your drawing skills. I mean, starting from the face, eyes, nose, which any beginner can do, and then starting to learn some anatomy, which is very essential, and many beginners want to skip this part. I'm not an exception, I also wanted to skip, but I didn't, because Otherwise, how can I develop? And I don't know why I made such a big emphasis on women's butt, but I think women's bodies are so beautiful and I like drawing their bodies really much, um, even more than men's. But let's just skip this part and let's continue with the program. I just follow some basic steps. I started from learning how to draw the faces and hair. Then I learned the anatomy, which is the most stressful part, and I think anybody can agree with me. And then the most important part, and my favorite, is learning how to draw some clothes. I followed the steps because I thought, well, if you can draw the hair, the face, the body and the clothes, you can draw pretty much anybody. But it isn't as easy as it sounds. On the part of the redrawing, you think, well, you're not that bad, because it more or less looks like human body, but eventually you will have to start to draw for yourself. And that is the most difficult part. Because when I started to draw for myself, all the bodies and figures I drew looked very odd and non-proportional. The reason for that is because I don't have much information and the references in my head, in my database, to make the redrawing from my thoughts, not from the image I see. That is why I followed the next thing. When I drew something, I looked for my mistakes. After that, I redrew the same thing, but I tried to make sure I fixed all the mistakes I made. And that could be sometimes boring, because you draw the same thing for the several times, but that's totally fine, because eventually, on the third or the fourth time, you will get something much better than you drew for the first time. 
And here is the middle of the challenge, the 14th day, and I learned how to do some clothes, which I found a little bit boring in the beginning, but eventually I understood that this is the most fascinating thing I could learn from this challenge, because the clothes are so different, you can make any character you want. And here is the important thing, learning how to draw the clothes and hair are the biggest flex you can have as a beginner. Because when I started to draw for myself, I found that, well, I can draw some eyes, the nose, the lips, the face, not a big problem. But when it goes to the hair, my head looks so unproportional. I don't know how to draw it, what is the texture, how to make it more dynamic and add some volume into it. Also, when it comes to the clothes, I just can't draw the shadows, I don't know where to add them. So if you can, that will make your character much more dynamic. And I want to pause here for a sec, because it is the 19th day, and this is the first picture which I drew for myself and which I actually liked, because I drew everything for myself and it didn't look as unproportional as it usually looked like in the very beginning. I kept learning how to draw the clothes and the bodies, but my figures still looked very stiff, like Power Rangers heroes. So I found the next tip. Basically, you draw some lines, the lines of the head, the line of the body, and uh, it shouldn't be straight, <laughs> as you can see. Then you add some circles, triangles, rectangles, and add more details of the clothes, of the hair and eyes, and eventually you will have the human body, which is not stiff, which is not odd and that unproportional. It is more dynamic uh, than it was. And I haven't ever drawn the bodies like this. And finally, I had some more results on the 22nd day. And that, I think, is one more evidence why beginners shouldn't just draw. You'd better have some plan and make some research on hacks and tips, which eventually will help you. Not every hack and tip can fit your style or develop your skills. So that is why research is so important. Never be afraid of being confident in your drawing. I found out that when I drew something and it doesn't look good, I started to draw it more confident than when I used to. I start to press with the pencil harder and it looks much better. Not always, of course but looked better. Here is almost the end of the challenge and it is the 24th day and I started the new sketchbook and almost all the characters I drew in the next sketchbook are drawn by myself. And I think you can see the results here, because look at this character. I'm sure this is the best character which I've ever drawn for myself so far. And it doesn't look that odd as it was in the very beginning. And I'm trying to find my own style here. This is the most challenging thing. I, of course, cannot find my own style on the 25th day. It is impossible, in my opinion. But nevertheless, I see very big results. And I'm absolutely sure that if you try the same challenge, you will always have very big results. In my opinion, I had some results just because I recorded myself. But there are some problems with that. First of all, it is not that comfortable when you record yourself. The camera is always above your hands and below your face, so sometimes you cannot see what you draw. The next thing is that it is more stressful, because why you record? Because you will probably show someone what you've done, and that is a big pressure. But because of this pressure, I pushed myself harder and tried to draw better and better, because I didn't want to show you some trash, <laughs> which is done during the 30 days. However, I also drew sometimes not on camera, and it was just so fun. It is such a big pleasure to draw for yourself, not for somebody. So if it doesn't fit you, if you don't like the pressure of other people's eyes, do not draw it on camera, just draw it for yourself. I think I'm done talking about tips and hacks, which I found during the 30 days challenge so far, and if you like this video don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe on my channel and comment down below anything you want any questions which you're interested in and i will just keep talking about the things which i liked oh no and also i found out that drawing in the squared notebook for the whole challenge was the biggest mistake and only on the last day i bought an album but better late than never 
I suppose. I tried to practice to draw with the markers and brushes, but it's not as the same as the pencils. However, I think the pencil that you choose is also an important thing, because I had the hot pencil during this 30 days challenge and uh, it is not the best option in my opinion. If I had the soft pencil, my drawings would probably look much better, because it is easier to make the shadows with the soft brushes and probably paint your lips. In the works of the Chawi, the artist which I was talking about in the very beginning of the video, uh, look at the texture of her shadows, of her hair. I couldn't make the same thing with my pencil because it is hot, so probably with the soft pencil it would be easier, but not the same. So if you know what pencil she uses or what brushes, please comment down below and tell me, because I'm still looking for it. And here is the final picture, and as you can see, I've used all the basic steps. I drew the face, I drew the hair, I drew the body and the clothes, and I think I made a great job. So thank you for watching the video till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And leave the comments down below if you're an artist and you would like to try this challenge together with me. Anything you want, just write down below. I will be happy to answer any questions and any comments to write. Goodbye. See you.